Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do an after dark reading. This after dark reading is for Divine Feminine versus the Karmic. So keep in mind that the Karmic could be a male or a female, or the Karmic could be, um, no, I'm going to just say the Karmic could be a male or a female. The Karmic may or may not be your Karmic, and as well keep in mind that Divine Feminine energy could also, also resonate with the man, a Divine Masculine. If, um... You're in your feminine energy if and when the energy manifests. So if it's a man, a divine masculine, and his feminine energy, a divine feminine's reading in or energy can resonate for him. So keep that in mind as well. Um, so keep in mind that the reading may or may not resonate with you some parts of the reader might resonate other parts of the reader might not as well keep in mind that time is fluid so this reading can manifest after dark hours tonight it can manifest later on down the line in time or this present reading could be past energy for you if this present reading is past energy for you then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance so um I'm going to put you guys a message from the stars. I just got that message to use that deck as well tonight. So I'm going to put y'all a message from the stars as well for the display card. Well, it's not really for display. It's for a reason. Um, but, I, you know, I call them my display cards. The cards that I set up here, I call them my display cards. But it's more than for, for like, display. Um... What was I about to say? Oh, today is Friday, March the 24th. So, I give my after dark reading hours for the hours of 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. So, keep that in mind as well. I go by Eastern Standard Time. So, if you guys watching go by a different time zone, then you can apply the read the reading and or the timing how you, however you see fit. But I go by Eastern Standard Time from 7 p.m. until 5 a.m. the next day. So I did get messages during the pre-shuffle and the messages that I got was um, concerning love and romance. Somebody don't know how to let somebody go or that's how somebody feel. Divine Feminine, it could be you, it could be the karmic. Concerning love and romance, somebody feel as though they don't know how to let go. I also picked up the energy. Um, somebody could be a, a cusp, a, a tourist, um, a cusp protect with dealing with Taurus. I can't think of right now what what sign is before in or after Taurus. I can't think of that right now. But somebody could be a cusp um between Taurus and another sign. Um somebody could also be contemplating. I heard somebody's contemplating doing something inhumane. Um somebody could also be contemplating um, this is different scenarios. Somebody also is contemplating um, whether they want to get married or whether they want to divorce. That higher front, higher front energy. So somebody's contemplating should they should they do something foolish. So, what spirit just told me to say pertaining to that: if somebody is contemplating doing something inhumane, this is premeditated. Whatever this is, this crime is, is premeditated because this person, like, thought about it. They're thinking about it. So, this is not someone who could um, claim insanity and stuff like that. Whatever this is. This was premeditated. All right. So, those are the messages that I got during the pre-shuffle. So, let me go ahead and jump into the reading. And then we got, I am brave in reverse. So, somebody might definitely lose their courage. Or somebody don't want to be brave. And that could be the reason why somebody could be contemplating doing something foolish or doing something inhumane. Because they don't want to be brave. Somebody don't want to let something go. Somebody don't want somebody doesn't want to move on from old patterns, habits, and fears. So somebody's contemplating on doing something they're not supposed to do. Alright. What's the Vine Feminine's angel number for after dark hours tonight? Excuse me. 
I heard somebody um, contemplate and being brave about the wrong thing. So I am innovative. Coming out sideways. So Divine Feminine, you could be coming out sideways because of Divine Timing. Or Divine Feminine, you could be having a hard time in this energy. Being innovative. Or something going on with Divine Timing. But I'm going to read it in the upright. So Divine Feminine, your angel number is one. You are a self-starter with very innovative ways to creating opportunity. Your determination and, and endurance are powerful and will help you get through rough times and reach success. So Divine Feminine, what I'm hearing is this could be for your protection. The reason why you're coming out sideways. Divine Feminine, somebody could be thinking about offending you. So Spirit is protecting you. Um, you might not get the... the uh, the success that you want right now or whatever you're doing after dark hours tonight, something might not go your way or divine feminine, you might lose your motivation to like complete a task or something. This, I'm going to give you an example. It's like divine feminine, say like, um, you was planning on running to the store real quick, um, to do something or get some supplies or whatever. And it's like somebody crazy outside. It's like Divine Feminine, you're going to lose your motivation to like run to the store after dark hours real quick or whatever it is, a quick run or something. Because it's like, it could be for your protection. So Divine Feminine, you could be having a hard time being a self-starter. And this could be for your protection. Yeah, so you coming out sideways. Or Divine Feminine, um, if you're not in any type of danger, um... This danger could be major or minor. If you're not in, in any type of danger, you could just be having a hard time with that energy, being a self-starter. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. What um, angel number is the karmic in? I mean, yeah. Yeah, it came back out. So the karmic is being patient, 10-10. Keep your thoughts positive and be patient. It, be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. So Divine Feminine, I'm kind of picking up this karmic. View you, view you as a threat or something you're doing, the karmic view it as a threat. So it's like the karmic is like on edge. But it's like Divine Feminine, if you, because you're coming out sideways, the karmic going to chill out and fall back. So this could be, for example, Divine Feminine, this karmic could be like a crazy ex. And in their mind, you're cheating on them. So it's like Divine Feminine, if this karmic see you come outside and get in your car, it's like they were going to offend you. So it's like because the, the karmic could be outside lurking. And because you're in the house, the karmic don't see you coming outside. It's like the karmic going to chill out. The karmic going to chill out and something. Yeah, it could be something crazy like that going on. It say keep your thoughts positive. So to my feminine, this karmic could be like an ex-lover. Or if this is non-romantic, it's like the my feminine, this karmic view you. You're doing something and this karmic view it as a threat. So because you're not in this energy or you're having a hard time with this energy, it's like the karmic is able to calm down and keep their thoughts positive. So divine feminine, I don't know what you're doing that the karmic perceives as a threat. Divine feminine is not really a threat. What you're doing or what you was planning to do is not really a threat, but this is a karmic. So it's like Lord knows how this karmic is perceiving something. So, oh boy. <laughs> so, um, I did um, a weekend reading. And for the collective, Divine Feminine, this could be included for you as well. For the collective overall energy, I picked up this, like, the spear. Um... So, Divine Feminine, that could be kind of like your energy a little bit. It don't have to be. It don't have to be.
All right, so what's going on? What's the Divine Feminine's message from the start? All right, so this is number, what is that? A 13. I got to go get my glasses. You deserve good things. Keep your focus on what you want. So Divine Feminine, whatever you're um, focused on, whatever you're trying to create, it's good for you. But this karmic is a threat to this karmic. You deserve this divine feminine, but you got a crazy karmic over here. You deserve something. You're not doing anything wrong. The stars is telling you, divine feminine, you deserve good things. Keep your focus on what you want. So I'm hearing divine feminine, don't lose heart. Um, the most high in your angels is going to handle this karmic. Don't lose heart. It's like divine feminine, something that you was trying to do or something that you was focused on. You could have experienced like interruptions. But spirit is saying divine feminine is still yours. Even if you can't put your hands on it or manifest it after dark hours tonight, just um stay focused on it. Because it's still yours. You're still going to be able to manifest it. You could just be experiencing delays because of opposition. So the stars are saying keep your focus on what you want. Even if you don't physically have it. In your possession or whatever this is. You do deserve good things, Divine Feminine. And I don't know who this karmic is, but it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic. You getting what you deserve, Divine Feminine, is a threat to this karmic. And that's not supposed to be like that. But I'm pretty sure your angels and the most high gonna handle this this drama. Because Divine Feminine, the Most High is not going to forever delay your good your good things because this karmic over here is a karmic. That's not going to be like a forever. Yeah. So this situation is eventually going to be resolved. All right. Oh, I heard Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, I heard you was getting ready to start something or do something, and you had a conversation with this karmic, and this karmic pissed you off. And it's like Divine Feminine, it's like you can't even concentrate on what you was doing because the karmic threw your energy off. Like something like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's the karm what's the karmic message from the stars? What's the karmic message from the stars? What is the karmic message from the stars? You are bright energy. Color uplifts you. Yeah. So I'm hearing the stars is telling the karmic, if you want your vibration to be um, raised, the karmic has to do something with colors. And Divine Feminine, the karmic delaying you is not going to raise the karmic's vibration. So Divine Feminine, whatever the karmic is doing against you, the karmic thinks that it's going to uplift them, like it's going to make them feel better. But the stars is telling the karmic, you are bright energy, color uplifts you. Not um, offending Divine Feminine. This is offending Divine Feminine is not going to uplift you. Colors uplifts you. So something going on with colors. Something. This old karmic. So I don't know what that means. Um. Um, I would read the book, but I'm not because I know it's it's a, um, those colors. I know it's something to that, but I'm not going to read the book. That's just a karmic's message from the stars. Yeah, so this came out reverse in your energy, Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, you coming out sideways could be like divine time. And this is like for your protection. So it say in the upright, it say spend time on you balance yourself. It's like Divine Feminine, the stars are saying, don't try to balance yourself. Because this karmic, something going on with this karmic. It's like, don't try to balance yourself after dark hours tonight. Divine Feminine, the stars is telling you, 
don't try to balance yourself because you're not balanced for a reason divine feminine you the stars are saying you do deserve good things keep your focus on what you was aiming towards but don't try to work towards it right now like don't give up but like divine feminine maybe this um spirit don't want you talking to this karmic or something like that So let me pull on love and romance real quick. What's going on in love and romance with Divine Feminine? What's going on with Divine Feminine after the hours tonight? Love and romance. What's the message of love? Love and romance for Divine Feminine. Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. So, Divine Feminine, this could be you or your lover concerning love and romance. Divine Feminine, Spirit wants you to know that someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Divine Feminine, it could be you. It could be you, Divine Feminine. What's the message of love for the karmic? What's going on in love and romance with the karmic after the was tonight? Interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. Divine feminine. For some of y'all, this karmic is your current love, current lover, or your ex. And this karmic is a little bit crazy. It's like divine feminine in the karmic mind. Divine feminine. If this karmic is your lover, it's like you're probably not cheating on the karmic, but the karmic think you're cheating. Divine Feminine, if this karmic is your ex, it's even worse because in the karmic's mind, y'all still together and they feel as though somebody's interfering in y'all connection. That's that's worse. Yeah. So I'm I'm kind of picking up a scenario is this interference is not true, but that's in the karmic's mind that an external party is intruding on y'all relationship and it's not even like a relationship. <laughs> Yeah, something. Or divine feminine, this karmic, if this karmic is not your lover, this karmic could be like your lover's ex or something. And divine feminine, this karmic feels as though you're flirting with her lover or this karmic view you as a threat. So divine feminine, I don't know if you probably do business with the karmic's lover. Or the karmic's lover is, like, your lover, too. Like, her, the karmic's lover could be your divine masculine. So, that could be the reason why I picked up the energy the karmic view, view you as a threat. And divine feminine, this could be something innocent. Like, the karmic's lover could be your work partner. And divine feminine, the karmic don't want you nowhere around her lover or something like that. Yeah, this karmic view you as a threat, divine feminine. This karmic could be your competition in love. Or something like that. She could be your divine masculine's ex or your divine masculine's current lover or something. I don't know. But let's see. What's divine feminine's lover hidden truth for after our obvious tonight? I feel you even though we are apart. Yeah. So divine feminine, you could be in separation from your divine masculine. Or this lover. And this lover could be with the karmic. So Divine Feminine. um, Oh, Divine Feminine, it's your lover. It's your Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine is going through an awakening. And he's with the karmic. He's going through his awakening while he's, while he's with the karmic. So that's what's going on. I heard the karmic has been alerted. The karmic has been alerted. So I'm also picking up divine feminine. You could have text or emailed your divine masculine. And his phone made a noise. His notification. And the karmic read it. Or something like that. I heard the karmic has been alerted. Or divine feminine. The karmic has like your divine masculine's uh 
phone traced. So all his emails and text messages, the karmic has access to them from her device or something. She can read them or something like that. I heard the karmic has been alerted. Or this karmic was doing tarot or something and spying. And that's how she know. Yeah. So divine feminine, this karmic feel as though you're the external party and you're intruding. So she could be with your divine masculine. Okay, now it's making sense. And divine feminine, you probably wanted to like start over with your divine masculine. Or something. All right. What's the karmic's lover hidden truth? Yeah. Yeah. Divine feminine. This car the karmic's lover could definitely be your divine masculine. So the karmic lover don't really want to be more than friends with this karmic. Because divine feminine, your divine masculine going through an, an awakening. So he don't want to be uh, more than friends with the karmic no more. Or, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine, you could be in union with your Divine Masculine or in contact with him. And he creeping around on you with this karmic and they probably work together. Like something like that. Either way around it, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine is in the karmic's energy. So Divine Feminine, your Divine, you could be with your Divine Masculine, he with this karmic and you're texting his phone. And this karmic feel as though you're intruding. Even though your divine masculine cheating on you, she feel as though you're intruding, divine feminine. Because you're texting your divine masculine while he's with her. Okay. Well, divine feminine, I don't I also just saw too and I heard it. Somebody's divine masculine is with this karmic and he sleeps. So, Divine Feminine, be careful what you text in your Divine Masculine. Because this karmic got your Divine Masculine phone and she reading his messages. It's like, Divine Feminine, say like you was going to text your Divine Masculine. Are you still coming with me to the mall tomorrow? It's like, Divine Feminine, because your Divine Masculine sleep and he with this karmic. Now the karmic is aware tomorrow you and your Divine Masculine going to the mall. It's like your Divine Masculine didn't tell her. She know because he sleep and she's looking at his text messages like you texting him. Or something like that. Or you're texting your divine masculine about something y'all was supposed to do tonight or something. And she still view it as a threat or something like that. It's like divine family, you're having a hard time being a self-starter. It's like you may maybe you want to text your divine masculine, but you don't know what to say. And it's for your protection. Or something like that. I also just heard too for some of y'all, Divine Feminine, you could have relocated. And um it's like you want to tell your divine masculine where you live at. But you know that he's still connected to this karmic. And you don't want the karmic to know. Like something like that. So Divine Feminine, you could have been thinking about texting your Divine Masculine or something. Your like new address. And it's like you having a hard time. Like you can't make up your mind whether you want to um, give him your new address or something. Or something like that. Something. Some type of information, Divine Feminine, you want to make known. I don't think you should do it after dark hours tonight because this karmic is like going to become aware of it or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So what's energetically obvious about divine feminine's lover? What's obvious? I took the easy way out. Yeah. So divine feminine. Your divine masculine could have left you for this karmic. Or he, or he chose the karmic over you or something. He took the easy way out. This is also my card for somebody cheating. Like somebody cheated. That's the easy way out. So divine feminine. Um, what could be energetically obvious is that your divine masculine is cheating on you. Or he might tell you this. He took the easy way out or something. Or something like that. 
All right. What's energetically obvious about the karmic lover? What's obvious about the karmic lover? You are not part of my plan. Yeah. Divine feminine, your divine masculine is with this karmic, but he he's fallen out, out of love with her. He's no longer sexually attracted to her. He might tell her this, and that's another reason why she's going to get pissed. So I'm also hearing divine feminine, don't initiate nothing sexual with your divine masculine. Because if you do, he might come, and that karmic going to follow him. Yeah, the karmic lover is telling this karmic or it's energetically obvious that the karmic is not part of her, their lover's plan. And divine feminine, this karmic lover could definitely be a divine masculine. Or something. Yeah. So divine feminine, your lover, this lover is in the karmic's energy. But he really don't want to be there. He don't want to be there. Because he's going through a, an awakening. So I don't know how long they've been been together or how long they've been creeping around i don't know or divine feminine your divine masculine could be married to this karmic and he don't want to be married to her no more or something <sighs> somebody contemplating a divorce and or doing something crazy inhumane all right so um, let me get some messages from this deck right here. At the dark, divine feminine versus the comment. Yep. Twin flame mission, psychic powers, clairvoyant. So divine feminine, you and or your divine masculine could have psychic powers. Somebody could be clairvoyant. Divine feminine, this could be your divine masculine because he's going through an awakening. His um psychic powers of being clair clairvoyant could be um awakening within him. Or you and your divine masculine have this clairvoyancy. Yeah, a twin flame mission. I also heard y'all twin flame connection is so obvious. It's obvious. That's what I heard. It's like energetically obvious or um, it's very well known on the 5D. Y'all have a soul contract or something like that. I heard something. Y'all twin flame connection is just clear. <laughs> like, yeah, like something like that. <laughs> something is obvious. So divine feminine, if your divine masculine is with this karmic, and she's asking your divine masculine if, um, do he love you? And your divine masculine saying no. It's so obvious that he's lying, divine feminine, or something like that. Something is just obvious or it's like known, but it's not manifested in like reality. But it's still intuitively known. I'm hearing it's intuitively felt. Yeah, angels are protecting you. All right, give me a message in Divine Feminine's energy for Divine Feminine. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you have a big mission on Earth, just not at the dark hours tonight, Divine Feminine. You do have a big mission on Earth, but Divine Feminine, not tonight, because this karmic a little bit crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you have, this is coming out sideways, too. You're having a hard time being a self-starter. Um... It's like divine feminine, you know something is like your calling or you know your divine masculine is your divine masculine. You know he love you. You know something going on. But it's like you probably can't put your finger on it or you don't know what to do. And that's okay. It's okay, divine feminine. It's like you probably don't know what to do or something like that. But divine feminine, this big mission on earth is still for you. But it's just, it's not the right timing. It's not the right time. And this could also be your twin flame mission. So Divine Feminine, it's coming out sideways. It's telling me you're having a hard time with your twin. 
But it's divine timing, though. It's divine timing. All right. Give me a message for this karmic and this karmic energy. Whew. So I, the energy that I'm picking up on is something like this. It's like divine feminine. This karmic is saying they can have a twin flame connection all they want, but I don't want divine masculine talking to divine feminine. I don't care what they have going on. He better not be talking to her like something like that. She could be sending threats. She could be threatening y'all or something like that. Look, enemies. Yeah. All right. Well, give me a message for this, Carmen. Yeah, lucid dreams. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. See, this Carmen, no. Divine coming to this Carmen, no. Yeah, she had a dream about y'all twin flame mission. She had it. She already dreamt it. She know. Yep. And she also underestimated something. So divine feminine, this karmic could have had a dream about you and your divine masculine like last year, five years ago, ten years ago. And it's like she underestimated something. It could have been time. <coughs> yeah. Some type of lucid dreams. Or divine feminine, if your divine masculine is with this karmic and he sleep. Divine feminine, your divine masculine could, could be saying your name or something, like while he's sleeping. And this karmic is woke. And your divine masculine sleep. She gonna hear him. So divine feminine, this karmic either already had a dream. She was shown in this dream about you and your divine masculine connection. Y'all twin flame mission. Or, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine dreaming about you in his sleep state, and he might be saying your name or something. And this karmic is going to hear him. Yeah. I also heard, too, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine said your name in the past. In his sleep. And since then, this karmic, if your divine if if your divine masculine is not at home with her, she'll go and watch your house to see if your divine masculine at your house or something. Or she probably just was planning on offending you if she saw you come outside or something. Or something like that. Yeah, say remain calm at this time. Yeah. Yeah. So that could be for the karmic. The cards could be telling the karmic to remain calm. Because your divine masculine said your name in his drink while he was asleep in the past. Or after dark hours tonight, he going to do that. And this karmic going to have to remain calm. Or divine feminine, you going to have to remain calm because of your psychic powers. Whew. So divine feminine... That clairvoyancy, you might hear something, see something, know something intuitively. I also heard Divine Feminine, you could be aware that your Divine Masculine is awakening and you might be tempted to rush. Like, you know clearly because of your psychic powers, because of clairvo your clairvoyancy, you know he going through an awakening. So it's like Divine Feminine, you could be tempted to rush. And, like, get back um, involved with him or something. So, you might have to remain calm, divine feminine. Because your dreams or something could be in the process, like, the beginning stages of manifesting. Yeah. Alright. What's going on with divine feminine? What energy is divine feminine in? Yeah, spiritual union. Two of cups. Yep. So divine feminine, yeah, you're inter you're dealing with your twin flame connection after dark hours tonight. Your divine masculine could be heavy on your heart. He's heavy on your mind. You might get some type of revelation or a download. You might even have some type of unwanted interaction with the karmic. Or you're picking up something intuitively about your divine masculine. He could be heavily on your mind, divine feminine. All right. What energy is the um? Or you you could just also be you um. You're nostalgic. You could also be being nostalgic. 
Divine Feminine, I heard you miss your other half. You miss your other half. Your Divine Master. All right. What's going on with the karma? Yeah, third eye chakra. So this karmic could be intuitive as well. Or this karmic do dark magic. But something's going on with the karmic's uh, sixth chakra. I said divine feminine, everybody know. <laughs> it's something obvious, divine feminine, about, about your um, twin flame connection. So it's like divine feminine, if this karmic like tap into the spiritual realm or do like scrying mirrors or tarot, it's like this karmic gonna see it. Intuitively, this karmic can see it. Y'all twin flame connection. And it's gonna cause the karmic a tower moment. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So divine feminine, this karmic saw something too. This karmic is aware of something. Or like I said, this karmic had a dream, a lucid dream. In the past or after dark hours tonight, this karmic going to know something. All right. What's going on with divine feminine with this spiritual union? Number two, the moon. The moon, when near, is a good omen. It predicts fortune. When distant, exposure of your secrets. Okay. So, Divine Feminine, this moon card is um near you. So, this is a good omen. So, Divine Feminine, after dark hours tonight, whatever is going on with you, even the negativity is still a good omen. So, Divine Feminine, say like something happened between you and the karmic. The karmic said something rude to you or something. Divine Feminine, the karmic offended you because <laughs> your Divine Masculine is in her energy and he told her he don't want to be with her no more. So it's a good omen. Even though the karmic could have pissed you off um, or Divine something. Divine Feminine, this karmic could have even told you that your Divine Masculine don't want you. That's a lie. This karmic is aware that your Divine Masculine don't want her. So she going to come in your energy and say your divine masculine don't want you. But it's very clear to her that he don't want her or he's losing interest. Um, so divine feminine, concerning your spiritual union, the good and the bad, after dark hours tonight, whatever's going on is still a good omen. It predicts fortune. Divine feminine, this moon energy is distant from the karmic. So because of your good fortunes, your predictions, it's going to expose the karmic secrets. So your goodness exposes the karmic secrets. And this could even be the karmic, um, divine from the, this karmic, um, could like she astro travels or this karmic do, do spell work or something. The karmic was keeping secrets about their third eye or something about the third eye. And Divine Feminine, um, after dark hours tonight or in the future, when your um, good omen manifests, the karmic secrets is going to be exposed. Or the karmic secrets is being exposed to you after dark hours tonight. Divine Feminine, if this karmic was trying to be slick and astro travel to you and she didn't want you to see her, you're going to see her. Yeah, she could be trying to be slick or something. And Divine Feminine, you're still going to see her. 3D or 5D. Divine Feminine, if this karmic is outside your house trying to be slick, hide in the bushes, Divine Feminine, you're going to see her. Divine Feminine, if this karmic put on a disguise, you're still going to know it's her. Or something like that. Or something might get revealed to you, Divine Feminine, in your dream state or something. Or through clairvoyancy or something. What's going on with this karmic with the third eye chakra? The color purple, um, what was I doing earlier and I heard that? Because it's like I said to myself, that's just like the color purple. What was I doing? 
And now I'm the karmic energy. I'm doing this after dark reading in the color purple right there. What was I doing? I can't remember what it was. I think I was listening to a song or something. Um. Oh, I know what I was doing. I was playing back the reading that I did earlier. Um, my weekend reading, part two. I remember saying in a video that the karmic, whoever was doing spell work, it's like I said in a I said in a video that until this karmic takes somebody out of a jar, everything they touch is gonna crumble. <laughs> everything this karmic do is gonna crumble. So when I was listening to the reading and I heard myself say that, I'm like, that's a line off the color purple. When Sally said, until you do right by me. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, in the weekend reading, the energy I was picking up on, it's the karmic. It's your Divine Masculine's karmic doing this to you. Or doing something. The color purple. So that line that I said in my video, the weekend reading part two, that was for the karmic. And the karmic could literally have you and or your divine masculine in a jar. And until this karmic take you out this jar, everything this karmic do going to crumble. It's not going to work out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What's going on with this karmic? The third eye chakra. What's going on? Yeah, somebody don't want to be bothered with this karmic. Someone no longer wants to be associated with this karmic. And divine feminine, it could be your divine master. He don't want no parts. For some of y'all, they can be sleeping in separate beds or something like that. If they live together. Yeah, then we got the shint, procedures, the disappointment. And when near the coffin or early death. Yeah, this karmic better stop. Yup, this karmic. So we got number 32. The mountains nearby indicates the presence of a mighty enemy. So the karmic might experience death to their third eye. Yeah. Their, um, uh, yeah. The karmic sixth chakra is going to get damaged or some type of death to the karmic sixth chakra. The karmic could have overdid their manipulation, did too much dark magic, spell work. Too much astro traveling. So the karmic is going to experience death in something. It could be her, their physical body. It could be their sixth chakra. If the karmic don't stop. Because really in our reality, divine feminine, the karmic is kind of like wishing death on you. In or in your like twin flame mission. The karmic is wishing death on it. If not your physical person, it's like your twin flame mission. So because the karmic wants to bring death to you, something that's ordained for you to do, something that's meant for you, is right here on the karmic. It's right there. So the right feminine, this karmic. Oh, okay. So I heard it. Divine feminine. In the past, this karmic could have did some type of successful spell work in or dark magic. It was successful. But the karmic lost their powers. So the karmic could still be threatening y'all. But the secret is the karmic can't do this again. Whatever the karmic did to y'all in the past, she no longer have that power to do it. Or she's going to lose it after dark hours tonight. That's what this is. That's the secret. So Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, your Divine Masculine is kind of like intimidated by this karmic. Because she could be like a, a real witch or a real warlock. Um, this karmic do dark magic. And whatever this karmic did in the past, it actually worked. But um, after dark, I was tonight, the karmic is experiencing death to their sixth chakra. <coughs> or something. Yep. Yep. Or divine feminine, this karmic will no longer be able, not in this life, in this lifetime, the karmic will no longer be able to like tap into your energy or astral travel to you 
in or your divine masculine. So something going on with this karmic and chakras. Something going on with the... <laughs> what? Okay. So, Divine Feminine... This karmic is either passing away or the love that your divine masculine once had for this karmic is dying. And the karmic can't do nothing about it. This karmic does a lot of chakra work. And divine feminine, I'm hearing the only chakra that the karmic has left is like their sixth chakra. But this one about to go too. So what 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 does that mean when all your chakras are dead? Do that mean you're dead? I never um saw that nothing like this before. It's like all it's like, I just heard that when I looked over here, the karmic done messed toe up all all her other chakras. And the only one that's really like functioning, the only one that's left is the sixth chakra. And that one about to go too. So is this the karmic losing all of her intuitive gifts? Is this the karmic losing her, her mind? Or is this a physical death? I, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to Google it when I'm done with this. Because this is more than somebody's chakra being blocked. This is a death to somebody's chakra. I'm going to have to Google it. I don't know. This karmic did this to themselves. Yeah, this karmic done did this to themselves. So... I don't know what that means when somebody's chakra is dead. <clears throat> is this karmic banned from like occult knowledge? Is this karmic banned from like the 5D? It's like this karmic can no longer astro travel or something. It's like if this karmic astro travel and all her chakras is deceased. It's like this. that's automatic death to the karmic's physical body. If she, if she astro, astro travels and all her chakras are dead, will this weaken the karmic's immune system? I don't know. I don't know. Somebody tell me. All right. What's going on with the right feminine with spiritual union and number two? Yeah. And then we got 22. So we got number two. The moon and then two. So divine feminine, the number two and or four could be significant. Significant, and then we got number thirteen. That's a four. So forty-four, two, twenty-two, four, forty-four, one, forty-four, four, forty-one. The number 56 could be significant for the karmic. Yeah, five, six, seven. This is a five. This is six. And this, this is seven. Five, six, seven. Significant for the karmic. Or are those the chakras that's jacked up for the karmic? The five, the, um, let me see something. Yep. So those three chakras could be done. The karmic's fifth chakra, the sixth chakra, and the seventh chakra. They done. 
Because the karmic keep doing something that spirit was telling the karmic to stop doing. And Divine Feminine, you could be dealing with your heart chakra. I'm hearing the karmic is also going through a dark night of the soul. I heard, I'm hearing the karmic is going through a cold dark night of the soul. It's, yeah. A cold dark night of the soul. Yeah, the queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, that's a bully. So this karmic a bully. What's going on with divine feminine? So I'm hearing divine feminine, your bully is being stopped. Or this karmic gonna hang themselves. Yeah, divine feminine, I heard your bully is being stopped. Or if this woman, this karmic was bullying your divine masculine, she's being stopped. The nine of swords and the ten of wands. Divine feminine, this could be you. You could be trying to figure out what's going on. Or divine feminine, that's the karmic, or maybe your divine masculine. <clears throat> divine from now i'm also picking up too you could be nostalgic and you you're saying to yourself like you're you're blaming yourself for y'all breakup the reason why your divine masculine is with the karmic or something like that it's like you could be blaming yourself Divine Feminine, I heard somebody say, or you're saying, you should have took better care of your Divine Masculine. You wish you would have took better care of him. And now he with that old darn karmic. Yeah, this karmic jealous. This karmic don't love nobody. This karmic jealous. So, Divine Feminine, you could be an air sign, a fire sign. You are this karmic, or somebody has that in a chart. Leo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, a Le a Le uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Clarify the Nine of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Somebody's guilty. I don't know. It could be the karmic. I don't think that's the karmic with a crazy self. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. So, Divine Feminine, if you was thinking that your Divine Masculine was just having, like, the, the time of his life with the karmic, that's not true. So, I also see Divine Feminine. That something is not what it appear to be. Divine Feminine, you probably think that this karmic a better woman than you. And Divine Feminine, you don't know the half. It's like Divine Feminine, I don't know. I don't know if you think your Divine Masculine is King of Pentacles or you think that the karmic is the reason how your Divine Masculine got to this King of Pentacles status or something. That is so not true. And even if it is, it's like Divine Feminine. It's so much karma in the energy. It's like Divine Feminine... Who, I'd rather be the page of pentacles without this karmic energy than to be the king of pentacles in this karmic energy. So somebody being the king of pentacles, that's like irrelevant. Because somebody is like in trouble with the universe. Yeah, or something like that. So let me see. This nine of swords, is this divine feminine? Divine feminine, that could be your divine master. This Nine of Swords, is this Divine Feminine? Or somebody could be having a dream. No, nah, that Nine of Swords is not you, Divine Feminine. Alright, so I had to pause the video. So, I clarified, Divine Feminine, that Nine of Swords is not you. That Nine of Swords is your Divine Masculine. And Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine regrets being your ex. And or he's petrified about what's going to happen if he become the karmic ex. 
So your divine masculine could be scared of this karmic. Or divine feminine, your divine masculine got a guilty conscience because he ca caused you burdens. So divine feminine, the nine of swords with the ten of wands, you could be, I don't know, this could be telepathy you're having with your divine masculine. Or you might have a dream about him after dark hours tonight. It's like divine feminine, your divine masculine is going through like his awakening, his dark night of the soul. And he now realized what he did to you. So divine feminine, you could be this ten of wands after dark hours tonight. Or you was like this in the past when y'all broke up or when y'all was in a relationship. You was ten wands. So divine feminine, in the past, when your divine masculine used to mistreat you, this karmic used to um, justify his uh, behavior, his low vibration. And now that your divine masculine is awakening, he realized what he was doing to you was wrong. And it was low vibrational. He shouldn't have been treating you like that. So, Divine Feminine, who's this King of Pentacles? Is it you or your Divine Masculine? Or is it the Karmic? Do your, do your Divine Masculine feel as though he sold his soul? Because he could be at this King of Pentacles status because of this Karmic. But it was at the expense of his connection with you. Or something like that. So, let me verify who that King of Pentacles is. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Is this Divine Feminine? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, Divine Feminine, I heard you got it out the mud without your Divine Masculine. You did it without him. Or whatever y'all could have went through in the past, Divine Feminine, is like, you're the King of Pentacles. You probably make more money than your Divine Masculine, or you make more money than the Karmic. I'm also hearing Divine Feminine, in the past, the Karmic and or your Divine Masculine had more material wealth than you did. And now in the present, Divine Feminine, you the king of pentacles and they i don't know what status they at but it's like divine feminine in the past you could have been a page and they was the king and now in the present you the king and they the page like something like that could be going on divine feminine you that king of pentacles i heard your divine master should be ashamed of himself and he is it's like divine feminine you got it out the mud on your own so i Divine Feminine, I don't know what your Divine Masculine and or this karmic was doing to you in the past or what they were saying about you. I heard they were saying some stuff. And now it's like they ought to be ashamed of themselves because you're the King of Pentacles. I heard they were saying some stuff, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Divine Feminine, now I see why. Divine Feminine, if you was thinking about reaching back out to your Divine Masculine, don't. Mm -mm, it's not the time. Because he needs to be in this energy. He need, he need to feel this. This has to be felt. So he'll know not to never do this again. Yeah. He got to go through this, Divine Feminine. Yeah. All right, what's going on? So Divine Feminine, you could be an earth sign. Your Divine Masculine could be an air sign with fire in his chart. Or Divine Feminine, you could be a fire sign with earth in your chart. Or you could be an earth sign. I also heard Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine could be burdened. He's embarrassed because this karmic got him in debt. That Ten of Wands, this Ten of Wands could be your Divine Masculine. So that could be another reason, Divine Feminine, why your Divine Masculine falling out of love with this karmic. Because she put him in debt. That Ten of Wands. Or she bullies him. It's like he got to do everything. She don't do nothing. Yeah. What's going on over here with this karma with the third eye chakra and number 32? Yeah, the king of swords. Yeah. 
sometimes to me, this king of swords to me is the most high when he make a head over heart decision. And that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, and then death right there. Mm. Yeah, that king of swords could be the most high. Let me clarify. Or divine feminine, it could be your divine masculine or something. Or it could be that karmic and her masculine energy. Because your divine masculine is scared of her. That's king of swords. Is this um the most high in this energy over here with the karmic? Ooh. Yeah, that king of swords. Mmm. Yup, this karmic in trouble. It's like divine feminine, the most high has to insert himself in the karmic's energy to maybe protect your divine masculine. Or it's like divine feminine, the most high wants you to get a message. And he know he got to stop the karmic so you can get like a, an intuitive message or you, so you can have a dream about divine masculine so you can get a message or something. It's like he got to put his foot on the karmic's neck so you can like get something that you're supposed to get divine feminine. Yeah, Clarify this king of swords. This karmic in trouble. This karma getting rebuked. Yeah, then we got the sun. Yeah. So the most high gonna make sure that this karmic um and your divine masculine get a divorce. Or whatever it was that used to make the karmic happy, the most high gonna cut it, don't gonna cut it out. Whatever it was that used to make the karmic happy, he gonna take that sword and cut it out. Or the most high gonna um say something to this karmic and expose something. So this karma can't he can't see, but she definitely can hear. Yeah, the most high might say something to this karma. And he's he's exposing something. It's something that she can't deny. So I don't know what he's saying to her. If that sword is talking. Either way, this karma getting rebuked. Clarify the sign. Divine feminine, if this karmic pregnant, if this karmic pregnant, um, she's going to like have a miscarriage. I mean, the most high did this or he allowed it. She's going to have a miscarriage or something. If this karmic pregnant. Yeah, then we got the moon. Yeah, this karmic could be pregnant. This karmic going to miscarry or something. You got the moon. The karmic's happiness was to either conceive by your divine masculine or to be like your secret enemy, the moon, or to cause you to put you under psychic attacks, divine feminine, you and or your divine masculine. I heard this karmic gonna hear something they never heard before. <laughs> this karmic gonna hear something they never heard before. The most high is in his karmic's energy. Yeah, then the knight of swords. So this karmic is knight of swords and the most high the king of swords. So who you think going to win divine feminine? The karmic, the knight, and the most high the king of swords. So it's letting me know divine feminine that this karmic has a form of a God complex. And the most high is saying to the karmic, okay... You think you God, but after the hours tonight, I will show you who is God. This was the karmic's happiness to be the knight of swords. Or divine feminine, this karmic used to always call the cops on your divine masculine or something. <laughs> or call the cops on you or something. This karmic used to love this knight of swords energy. And the most high is like, okay, not tonight. Not after our hours tonight. Or something. The most high going to say something. Or cut this energy out. That knight of swords energy. The knight of swords is violent. The knight of swords can be very violent. Mmm.
So divine feminine, this karmic, um, the most high might also approach the karmic in her dream state. And tell the karmic of something or show her something about death. So it's like the karmic is getting the message very clear through their third eye. And this could be through the karmic sleep state or something about death if this karmic don't stop. Yeah. So again, Divine Feminine, if this karmic be threatening you, after dark hours tonight, this karmic might leave you alone. But Divine Feminine, even if the karmic do threaten, threaten you, this karmic can't make good on their promise. They can't. Yeah, they can't. They cannot. Because the, the most high is in the karmic's energy. Yeah, the most high in that karmic energy. Or he's saying something or showing her something in a dream. Or this karmic gonna have a miscarriage or something. Yeah. Yeah, so what's the school with divine feminine with the this, this spiritual union and number two, the moon? A fork in a row. You need to make a decision. Hmm. So divine feminine, um, I think in the near future. You and your divine masculine is going to be be able to reconcile, but do you want him back, divine feminine? So you have to make a decision. A reconciliation in or a union is possible, but it's like, do you want him back? That's the decision you're going to have to make. Because this moon energy is a good omen. It predicts fortune. So this could be the fortune of love, the fortune of marriage, union. Or it could be financial fortune. But it's like divine feminine. I'm picking up the decision is up to you. But you're being cleared or the danger is being removed. Spirit is in the process of removing all obstacles, threats, dangers, and things like that. So it's like divine, mas divine feminine. Once all this is done, it's like, are you going to even want your divine masculine back? Yeah, so Divine Feminine, you need to make a decision. Or it's like, I don't know, Divine Feminine, if you are talking to your Divine Masculine, I don't know what he's saying to you. I don't know if your Divine Masculine might stop at your house and ask you to marry him and... It's like something like off the whim might happen. And it's like Divine Feminine. I think if you say yeah, it's okay to say yeah in, divine, in this particular energy. It's okay to say yeah. Because it's like Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine learning his lesson. It's like the karmic is no more a threat to y'all. I don't know what decision you need to make, Divine Feminine. Or I don't know if you if you could be talking to your divine masculine and you might have to decide whether or not you want to believe him. Divine feminine, you probably don't believe him or something. Let me see. What's going on with this decision divine feminine got to make? What is this decision about? The toxic family, the family dynamic may be toxic. What? Divine Feminine, I think you're not sure. Because of everything you and your Divine Masculine went through in the past. He's changing, but you don't believe him. So Divine Feminine, I think the cards are saying you either believe him or you don't. Or your Divine Masculine could be asking you for a second chance. And you either say yes or you say no. But Divine Feminine, if you do say yes, it's a good omen and it predicts fortune.
So for some of y'all divine feminine, I'm picking up your divine masculine was able to get away from this garment. He was able to. <coughs> yeah. And divine feminine, you deserve good things. Keep your focus on what you want. So it's like, like I said, divine feminine, do you still want him? I think you do. But something might catch you off guard a little bit. What's the scoop with the nine of swords with the ten of wands? I heard divine feminine, he ready. That's why I heard he ready divine feminine. Yeah, rumors. There are rumors being spread. Yeah. Who? Divine Feminine, whatever was going on in the past between you and your Divine Masculine and all this karmic, he's not sure if you know everything. He's not sure. But he, he your Divine Masculine know what, what, what him and that karmic did to you or said about you. So your Divine Masculine got a guilty conscience about some rumors. So I don't know if at this moment he's going to actually tell you or he might wait till later on down the line in time. I don't know if he's scared to tell you because he got a guilty conscience and he's burdened about some rumors. Or Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine could be getting humbled. Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine could be getting humbled. He could be embarrassed. Divine Feminine, you could have heard some rumors that your Divine Masculine and that Carmen getting a divorce or something. Or that she miscarried or something. Or this Carmen going crazy or something. And Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine a little bit embarrassed. Because he chose this Carmen over you or something like that. What's the scoop with the King of Pentacles? Ooh. Yeah, angel numbers. Yeah. Yep. So, Divine Feminine, you're the King of Pentacles and you're very well protected. You could be very educated as well, Divine Feminine. Or you could be a master teacher. Divine Feminine, you probably teach um, angel numbers. Or, Divine Feminine, I'm hearing you could have created an angel number deck. And you make a lot of money off of the, your, like your angel number decks or something like that. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why you're the king of pentacles. You could have made an angel numbers deck or something. Or you're very protected, guarded, protected, things like that, these angel numbers. You may be seeing a lot of number synchronicities at this time. Yeah. Oh, I heard Divine Feminine, you're number one. That's what I heard. Angel number, number one, you're number one. You the king of pentacles, you're number one. So divine feminine, maybe your divine masculine and or the karmic want it to be number one or something like that. Angel numbers. And what I said, I said 22, 44. Yeah. So something going on with angel numbers, divine feminine. And your divine masculine um, is like ashamed of himself. Maybe because you're angel numbers or something. So divine from I don't know if divine if your divine masculine and this karmic wanted to compete with you. It's like divine from you could have made an angel angel numbers deck, and then this karmic and your divine masculine try to put their heads together and make an angels number deck or something. They could have been competing with you or something. And they just, they, mm, something, something to do with angel numbers, Divine Feminine. Yeah, but Divine Feminine, angels are protecting you and or angel numbers. Yeah. Divine Feminine, I'm also hearing too, Divine Feminine, you could be very spiritual. And your spirituality is proving itself as worthy. Your spirituality is proving itself as worthy. Divine Feminine, maybe you believe in angel numbers and your Divine Masculine and his karmic didn't. 
They laughed at you because of your um, spiritual or religious beliefs. They laughed at you. But it's like divine feminine. You're actually the king of pentacles in the present. So how foolish could your religion or spirituality be? It ain't that bad, divine feminine. You're the king of pentacles now. So you wasn't that foolish. Something, they could have been clowning you or something. Your divine masculine is karmic. They was clowning you. And then we got fake. Yeah. Yeah. Divine feminine, your divine masculine, he ashamed of himself. I don't think this karmic ain't ashamed of herself. This karmic. <laughs> Ooh, this karmic in between worlds. Yeah. So, what's the school with this karmic on here with this third eye chakra, number 32? You know what I just saw, too? In that movie, The Players Club, when um the girl walked into the strip club in the in the back room and said if anybody don't want no issues get out and she pulled her gun out it's like divine feminine the most high went to the karmic's house your divine masculine was there and the most high was like if anybody <laughs> and it's like divine feminine your divine masculine left and the karmic had to stay because it's like the most high don't really got an issue with your divine masculine it's the karmic So, so it's like your divine masculine like escape like danger or a major rebuking from the most high. But this karmic is going this karmic is getting the, the worst of this. Yeah. What's the school with this third eye chakra number 32 the mountain? Divine Feminine, I also heard too, after that I was tonight or in the past, the Most High could have told the Karmic that if you go into union with your Divine Masculine, it's going to be the death of the Karmic. So Divine Feminine, that's why the Karmic could be uptight. Because she already know. If you choose to go into union with him, or maybe the Most High told the Karmic, if Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine don't reunite, that's you, that's, that's, that's death to you. Something. So it's like divine feminine. This karmic. Like keep an eye on you. To make sure you. <laughs> but it's like divine feminine. Whatever choice you make. Is out of the karmic's control. And I don't know what the karmic told this car. I don't know what the most high told this karmic. So that's why this karmic on edge. And trying to be patient divine feminine. Because it's like the karmic don't have control. It's like the karmic got to submit. The karmic no longer have control over the situation. I don't know what the most high told this karmic. I don't know. But I know she can't do nothing about it. <coughs> arrested. Someone may be getting arrested here. What's the scoop with third eye chakra at number 32 in my life? Sexual fantasies, yeah. Missing peace, yeah. Someone has been having sexual fantasies about you, yeah. This karmic definitely do um some form of spying. So do I feel that this karmic some this karmic is aware that your divine mask will be having sexual fantasies about you or what I also see too, divine feminine subconsciously, this karmic likes you. And the most high is going to reveal that to this karmic. This karmic likes you, divine feminine. Subconsciously. It's like this karmic wasn't aware of it. Yeah, this karmic got a crush on you. The most high might reveal that to the karmic too. It's like the most high is going to tell this karmic, karmic, you need to stop because you just mad because you know divine feminine don't swing that way. Like something the most high going to tell the karmic the truth. Something the karmic didn't want to accept or something. I 
I heard, I heard you're nasty. <laughs> That's what I heard. You're nasty, karmic. <laughs> yeah, this karmic gonna have to accept the truth with their third eye chakra. The fine family could be this karmic that be having sexual fantasies about you. Or that could be the work the karmic's worst fear that your divine master is still sexually um attracted to you, divine feminine. Or divine feminine, this karmic knows something that you don't know. Divine feminine, I don't know how 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 your divine masculine treats you, or I don't know the last time you spoke to him. But divine feminine, this karmic know that um, your divine masculine have been having sexual fantasies, fantasies about you and you don't know. Divine feminine, this karmic know that you don't know something. So it's confirming to me, divine feminine, this karmic be doing reverse psychology on you. So divine feminine, you could have encountered this karmic after dark hours tonight or earlier today. And this karmic said something to you that wasn't true it was like a total lie it was the opposite so the right feminine say like you bumped into the karmic at the store on top of the other stuff that her and your divine masculine did to you in the past it's like divine feminine you bump into the karmic at the store and the karmic gonna say that's why divine masculine don't even want your stinking ass divine feminine that was reverse psychology it's like divine feminine, unbeknownst to you, your divine masculine don't want the karmic stinking ass. But it's like divine feminine, you don't know that. So it's like divine feminine, this karmic like hurt your feelings all over again for nothing. And it was a lie. Or this karmic pissed you off with a lie. And the most high is like, you need to stop. That's enough. Yeah. Something this karmic could have said to you, divine feminine. That I mean, it just was not true at all. This karmic literally be doing reverse psychology, divine feminine. Or amongst other things, and the Most High is like, "That's enough. That is enough." Give me the scoop with the the King of Swords. You, your life is about to have an upgrade. So the wife from the most high could have told the karmic, your life is about to have an upgrade. And there's nothing that the karmic can do about it. Or if she tries, something's going to happen to her sixth chakra or something. Something. Or the wife from the karmic probably wanted an upgrade at your expense. And the most high going to knock it down. Yeah. So it's like the most high saying, oh, you thought you was going to have an upgrade? No, you're not. No, you're not. What's the scoop with the sun? Divine Feminine, I just heard the karmic know a lot of things you don't know. And then we got Christmas. Something significant about this holiday. The karmic could have been due on, around Christmas. If this karmic was pregnant or something, this karmic was probably due around Christmas. This karmic might um, miscarry. Yeah. Or Divine Feminine, the karmic could have hatched a plan around Christmas that just passed. The karmic could have made up some type of plan to offend you around Christmas. And it was the karmic's happiness. So something the karmic and maybe even your Divine Master was planning against you since Christmas. But it's like they're going to have a tower moment after dark hours tonight. Or the karmic was due. They baby was due around Christmas or something. And this karmic gonna have a miscarriage. What's the scoop with the moon? Yep. Yeah. Divine feminine. Some this karmic, this karmic a liar. Divine feminine. Somebody that this karmic was catfishing you in the past or after dark hours tonight. And this karmic was making you self-reflect. Like doubt yourself. This karmic could have pissed you off, flush, flustered you. 
got you agitated. It's like Divine Feminine, you probably couldn't even cook dinner when you got home. This karmic did something to you, Divine Feminine. It's like you couldn't get yourself together. Or this karmic made you insecure about whether or not your Divine Masculine loved you or not. Or something. This karmic made you self-reflect. But Divine Feminine, this karmic, is a, this karmic was catfishing you. Someone is not who they appear to be. Or Divine Feminine, like I said, you could have been texting your Divine Masculine. Or you thought you was texting your Divine Masculine. Or she was texting you from your Divine Masculine phone or something. It was her or something like that. Yeah, evil eye. Someone is wishing it would tell you. Yeah. This karma was doing something in secret. She could have been tracking y'all, tracing y'all. Divine feminine, um. She was doing this karma was doing something with technology, dark magic. This karma was doing everything. Um. Yeah. Someone is not who they appear to be. So do I feel that I don't know. This karma could have tricked you after our hours tonight. Divine Feminine, if this karmic played a joke on you, like, it's like Divine Feminine, say like you haven't heard from your Divine Masculine in a while. And somebody texts you from his number and you think it's him. It's like Divine Feminine, you was going back and forth thinking you was talking to your Divine Masculine. And then the karmic going to text you back and be like, stupid hoe, it was me this whole time. Like something like that, that karmic could have did. Yeah, it's like this karmic made you feel dumb or something. Yeah. Yeah, this karmic can have di addictions. Yeah. Divine from this karmic is not what they appear to be at all. <laughs> so, divine feminine, I don't know if your divine masculine and this karmic, they can like have a nice a nice house, cars, the clothes, but it's like they crackheads or something like that. It's a lot that you don't know, Divine Feminine, that this karmic know. And this karmic be, mm -mm, this karmic catfishing. Divine Feminine, you probably really thought that this karmic was like a better woman than you or something? Mm -mm. I heard Divine Feminine, the, the most high can't stand this karmic. Can't stand her. God don't like ugly. What's the scoop with the Knight of Swords? What's the school with the Knight of Swords? Yeah, life purpose. Yeah. Divine Feminine, this karmic didn't want you and your Divine Masculine to go into union. She was giving you, you and him a hard time, especially you, Divine Feminine. This karmic didn't want you to find your life purpose. I also heard Divine Feminine, this karmic wanted you to forget, forget about your Divine Masculine. Like, forget about him. He mine. Forget about him. You might as well forget about that. Yeah, this karmic wanted you to forget about it. You ain't ever getting your divine masculine back. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Or divine feminine, this is what this karmic was doing to your divine masculine. It's like divine feminine, the karmic and your divine masculine did you so wrong. This karmic used to tell your divine masculine, oh, you could, you might as well forget about divine feminine. All that stuff we did to her. Yeah. Yep. It's like divine feminine. It's like when you used to like anything to do with your divine masculine, this karmic used to like attack y'all or something. So it was, you had a hard time pertaining to your life purpose. So divine feminine, you, this particular energy, divine feminine, it was meant for you and your divine masculine to go into union. Y'all supposed to. That's your life purpose. Yeah, not all twin flames go into union, but this particular twin flame energy right here, y'all supposed to be in union. It's your life purpose, Divine Feminine. I also heard Divine Feminine, you will make a good wife. You will make a good wife. You're the king of pentacles. You just pray in your masculine energy. 
Yeah. The King of Pentacles is married. It's usually married. Or the King of Pentacles makes a good spouse. Yeah. What's the T? Spell it. Um, what's the spell with the spiritual union? Number two, the moon, fork in a roll, and toxic family. Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up, too, this karmic over here could be your family member. And Divine Feminine, I don't know how, which way y'all was tossing your Divine Masculine back and forth. So, Divine Feminine, I don't know if you had your Divine Masculine first and then the karmic had them. Or your, the karmic had your Divine Masculine first and then you had them and then he went back to the, I don't know. But Divine Feminine, you probably need to make a, de a de decision because... This karma could be your family member or something. And it's like divine feminine. It's like, I don't know. Something like that could be going on too. It's like divine feminine. You thinking that if you take your divine masculine back, that you this karma is going to be heartbroken. Divine feminine, mm -mm. This, the karma might be heartbroken, but it's more or less the karma's ego. It's the karma's ego. Divine Feminine, if this karmic is your family, Divine Feminine, I don't think you realize how much this karmic didn't like you or what this karmic was doing behind your back or something. I don't think you know that, Divine Feminine. Or something like that this karmic was doing. So it's like, Divine Feminine, you could be trying to figure out, do I go with my Divine Masculine? If I choose my Divine Masculine, I'm going to disappoint my family, even though Divine Feminine, your family was had your Divine Masculine or something like that. So, what's the spill with this? Very spiritual union, union number two, fork in the road, and toxic family. Yeah, spirituality hater. <coughs> so, divine feminine, whoever this karmic is, they was your hater. Hating on your beliefs, not liking that you're untraditional, uncomfortable with your spirituality. Who this karmic do not like your twin flame connection. This karmic do not like you and your divine masculine together. This karmic don't like the fact that y'all know each other. This karmic hate this. She can't stand it. <laughs> divine feminine, I heard this karmic had your divine masculine hating his blessing. <laughs> oh God, this karmic. Yeah, your divine masculine hated his blessing. <laughs> oh man, that's real childish. Destroy, he tried to destroy his own blessing. If that ain't childish. All right. What's the spill with the nine of swords, the ten of wands, and rumors? This karmic childish. Then we got self love. Yeah. Loving yourself just the way you are, not dimming yourself to fit other people's perceptions, self-care, and the beauty. Divine Feminine, I heard it didn't work. It didn't work. So, Divine Feminine, this karmic in or your Divine Masculine was working on you. They wanted you to feel like less than a woman because your Divine Masculine chose the karmic over you or he was with her for like a long time. I heard that it didn't work, Divine Feminine. Whatever they was doing to you, it didn't work because your self-love is here. Or Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine probably feel foolish because he thought he knew what self-love looked like and he realized that he was like deceived. He now know that you was the one the whole time who practiced self-love. And it wasn't this karmic, this karmic suicidal, this karmic ain't no self-love. This karmic over here suicidal or a terrorist or something. What's the spell with the King of Pentacles and Angel number? Angel numbers. Yeah, heartbreaker. A person who can break hearts easily. Everyone wants them, but not everyone can have them. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine. The King of Pentacles with Heartbreaker could be telling me you overcame. It's like Divine Feminine. Your Divine Masculine and or this karmic could have been a lovers of money. And they didn't got, it's like they're lovers of money and because they were lovers of money, they don't have money. 
And because you wasn't a lover of money, you have money. Like something like that. Because money could be a heartbreaker, especially if you're a lover of it. So it's like divine feminine, you have something that your divine masculine in or this karmic love. And it could be money. Yeah, it's like divine feminine, you got this heartbreaker in your energy. Or divine feminine, your divine masculine view you as a heartbreaker. Because he don't know if you're going to take him back or not. Because you the king of pentacles. It's like you got it out the mud by yourself. So it's like your divine masculine worried that you're going to break his heart or reject him or something like that. Or he fear the worst that you're going to reject him or something. <clears throat> All right. What's the spill over here with this karmic? With third eye chakra number 32. Sexual fantasies and missing peace. Yeah, witchcraft. Yeah. Um, for me, to me as a reader, personally, to me, witchcraft could be verbal. Someone could be using magic to get their way. Divine from the discarmic said something to you. But it was witchcraft. It wasn't true. On top of doing other things. Yeah, witchcraft. Some type of verbal witchcraft. It don't have to be only verbal, but the vibe from the discarmic did some witchcraft or something on you to get their way. Yeah. And this karmic could have been astro traveling or doing something in somebody's dream state or something. What's this still with the King of Swords with upgrade? A moocher. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I'm hearing divine feminine. The car your divine masculine could probably come back in your energy, but the karmic can't. Divine feminine, your divine masculine is changing. The karmic has not. So divine masculine, if divine feminine, if in the past your divine masculine was a lover of money, he's no longer a lover of money. The, the karmic is still the moocher. It's not your divine masculine. So divine feminine, I don't know if the karmic and your divine masculine was planning on like um, offending you together. It's like Divine Feminine, the karmic could have sent your Divine Masculine in your energy to get money from you. But it's like, when he get in your energy, it's like he not even going to want the money. He don't want the money because he know it's him and the karmic together teaming up against you to like take your money or something. Or steal your upgrade. Someone who survives off another's income, one who, even if they have their own money, will use someone else's first. Yeah. Yeah. I also see two divine feminine for some of y'all too. This is another scenario. Divine feminine, the most high is proven to the karmic that the karmic do not love your divine masculine like you love him. I'm hearing it. Divine Feminine, the Most High told the karmic something. And the Most High is saying, I told you. Because if you love Divine Masculine, you would have told him what I said. But Divine Feminine, this karmic would, the, it's like this karmic would sacrifice your Divine Masculine for money. Because the Most High is saying something to this karmic after dark office tonight. Or he said something to her in the past about them maybe trying to steal money from you or something, Divine Feminine. So, Divine Feminine, it could be either this karmic going to pass away or your Divine Masculine. But, Divine Feminine, what I'm picking up is this karmic new. The Most High already told her. If you send Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine back over there in her energy, this man that you say you love. You trying to kill for? He's going to be no more. And it's like divine feminine. This karmic like want to test the waters or something. This karmic a moocher. So I just heard that too as a scenario. This karmic. The most high is proven to the karmic divine feminine. This whole drama this karmic been fighting for. He's trying to show her. 
You're deceiving yourself. You're lying. You're doing all this for what? You're doing all this for what, Carmen? For what, Carmen? This man that you say you love. This man you say divine feminine don't love him. I love him. And I already told you if you send him back in divine feminine energy, I'm going to get him. Mm, yeah, something like that going on. And divine feminine, this comment might send your divine masculine back over to you. <coughs> something like that. For some of y'all. Or Divine Feminine, I don't know if this karmic sent your Divine Masculine to you to do harm to you. And the most I could have told this karmic, if Divine Feminine get hurt, you going to. Or something like that, the most I told this karmic. So. Um, what's the spell with the, with the sun and Christmas? Caught in the act. Someone's been, been caught doing something they shouldn't. Yeah. Hmm. Divine Feminine, for some of y'all in the past or after dark hours tonight, this karmic and your divine, divine masculine tried to set you up around Christmas. Yeah. Or, Divine Feminine, I don't know if, like, around Christmas, you could have had sex or something with your Divine Masculine. And he could have filmed it. And him and the karmic was, like, um, like, going to blackmail you, like, with a sex tape. And they wanted to expose it. And the Most High is threatening this karmic. They want to expose something that you could have did around Christmas. Or something. Yep. Or this karmic, the most high is confronting the karmic about something that she did or said on, around Christmas. Or the most high is telling the karmic she's miscarrying. I heard the I heard the karmic's child is not gonna see the light of day. So it's like the most high is cutting out the karmic due date. You ain't gonna have no due date. Cause you 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 caught or something like that. Something like that. What's the um spill with the moon? Self-reflection and captain. Yeah, Mary. <coughs> yeah. Divine feminine this karmic um this karmic could be married to your divine masculine or divine feminine. This karmic could have married your divine masculine and was telling your divine masculine not to tell you. Because they was using you for money. This karmic was your secret enemy. Or divine feminine, you could be in union with your divine masculine. And this karmic could be your family member. And she was messing around with your divine masculine or something. It's like you could be married to him. And this karmic, your family member, or this family energy, divine feminine, if you already in union with your divine masculine, this toxic family is your divine masculine. Divine feminine, if you're not in union or you're not married to your divine masculine, this karmic is your family member. And she your secret enemy. She could have been messing around with your divine masculine or she married him. But it's like she told him not to tell you so they can use you for money or something. It's like they didn't want you to know that he was married. Ooh. Something like that going on. What's the spill with the Knight of Swords and Life Purpose sideways? <coughs> or Divine Feminine, this karmic was trying to keep you from a marriage. Or she was trying to keep you from getting married by making you doubt yourself. By catfishing you. Making you think she a better woman than you. Making you think she got a better house, a better car. Whatever she was doing to you, Divine Feminine. Spell work, dark magic, astro traveling, witchcraft, all the above. 
What's the spell with the Knight of Swords with life, purpose, sideways? Yeah, generous. Yeah. Divine feminine, for some of y'all in the past, in the past, in or after dark hours tonight, your divine master and his karmic used to use you for money. They used to want to take money from you. Or um they was plotting like um to blackmail you. <coughs> and it could have been like with a sex tape or something. Yeah. A hater. Wants to knock you down a size, a person that simply cannot be happy for your success points out your flaws to make them feel better. Just like I said, Divine Feminine. So, Divine Feminine, this karmic doing reverse psychology on you, that was them being a hater. It was being a hater. And it's confirming. It's right here, too. Divine Feminine, you're not deranged. This karmic probably used to call you crazy. Um, I heard, but I didn't want to say it. I'm going to say this. I did my weekend reading. And after I listened to it over again. I'm like. I didn't like the way I read. The weekend reading. Especially video 2. So I'm going to say it. Because Divine Feminine. This karmic and, and or your Divine Masculine. They used to call you retarded. And I didn't want to say that. Because. Yeah. They used to call you retarded. Divine Feminine. Yeah, but Divine Feminine, you're not weird, strange, and you're not twisted. Yeah, they was just keeping secrets from you. It's like Divine Feminine, if you would have knew that your Divine Masculine and this karma was married, you wouldn't have gave your Divine Masculine money. So, it's like Divine Feminine, when you was being generous to your Divine Masculine, you was not being retarded. You was not being deranged. You just didn't have all the information. So, I'm, I heard that this karmic is nasty. They, God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. Yeah, these karmics was being mean to you, Divine Feminine. Because Divine Feminine, trust and believe. If you would have known that the, your Divine Master was married to this karmic, you wouldn't have been giving him no money. Or something like that. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, you being generous, they were saying that you weird, strange, and you twisted. Because you was being generous. I also see, Divine Feminine, if your Divine Masculine is done with, like, being under the karmic's control or being deceived, it's like, Divine Feminine, um... Your divine masculine could be of need. He's in need. I'm hearing divine feminine. Your divine masculine need money for his prescription. This karmic either don't got no money. Or your divine masculine don't want to ask her for money for his prescription. And this karmic so hateful. God don't like ugly. This karmic got a nasty personality. Divine feminine. You being generous. When it counts. Life and death. This karmic is calling you deranged, Divine Feminine. Because you actually care about life and death. Because um, it's at some point, you got to know when to cut it off. Like, I could be your enemy, but if I see you're about to get hurt, okay, I can push that aside to save your life. This karmic don't know how to do that. God don't like ugly. This karmic is just a nasty person. So, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine could need, like, some medicine for their for the, his prescriptions. And this karmic calling you a fool. Because it's like this karmic just wants your Divine Masculine to die. Because he don't want to no more. Like, literally. You know how you go through a breakup and you angry and you talking junk. But it's like, if it came down to it, Divine Feminine, you wouldn't really allow your Divine Masculine or nobody to get hurt. This karmic, you piss her off. This karmic will let you just die. This karmic ain't no good. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, I don't know what type of health conditions your Divine Masculine got. But this karmic want to let you know that, Divine Feminine, you're weird, strange, and twisted. Because you gave your Divine Masculine some money to, like, save his life for, like, some prescriptions or something. 
And she she want to tell you how she feel about you for being generous to your divine masculine. Because she wouldn't have did it or something like that. Yeah. You yep, have something like that. So something going on with some prescriptions too. Something about some prescriptions. Cause your divine mask. This could, I don't know. Divine from now. I don't know. Your divine mask could could take um antidepressants or something. And he needed bad divine from now. <laughs> he need his prescription bad. Yeah, your divine master probably got high anxiety. And that's part of because he was over here living with um Count Dracula. Yeah, this old karmic what four, five, six. <laughs> this karmic crazy as hell. This karmic is dark. <laughs> Count Dracula, this karmic crazy. This karmic like a uh a high, a high grade energy vampire. It's karmic wicked. But I'm like, I'm gonna end it. Somebody could be older too. That's another scenario. I heard this karmic in or somebody's divine masculine is 56. And um, divine feminine, your divine mask got health conditions, and um, this karma was gonna set up then let him let him die. Divine feminine, Did somebody divine mask will need prescriptions. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm hearing the karmic can't stop the inevitable. The karmic can't stop this. So this is a type of energy <laughs> where divine feminine, say like if something was going on with your divine masculine and he in the ambulance. This this, this karmic, the like uh, uh, um slash the ambulance tires so the ambulance can't pull off. So your divine masculine can't make it to the emergency room one time. <laughs> This karmic, uh, and the most highlight. See, I told you, I told you, karmic. Let divine feminine have them. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, this pro, this karmic probably like really thought that she loved him, divine feminine. This karmic don't love nobody. This karmic love money. So it was the money or something like that. Ooh, divine feminine. I hope this karmic wasn't pimping your divine masculine. Lord Jesus, divine feminine. Whoo. Or divine masculine, if you a man. This going on with your divine feminine and divine masculine. Your divine feminine was being pimped by this karmic over here at one point in time in her life. And your divine feminine could be tired. And she don't want to live that life no more. And this man could be trying to kill her. Or something like that. Something like that going on. And Divine Masculine, if you're a man and you're Divine Feminine, she, she like used to get pimped or whatever. Divine Masculine, you're Divine Feminine, she's still some good. She she is. Yeah. Yeah. She still consider a good thing, Divine Masculine. Yeah. You deserve good things. Yeah. Divine Masculine, you just gonna have to love her, fix her up. Keep out the game and all that and all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, <clears throat> Divine Master, I'm also hearing, if this is for a man, your Divine Feminine was um being pimped, but this guy is also her family member. And that make it even worse. And it made it even harder for her to get out the grasp of this man. Because this man was her pimp, but it's like incest. They're family. Yeah. Or something like that. 
or divine masculine is like you probably knew about your divine feminine pimp but you didn't know that it was her family member or something like that or something I also kind of see, too, a blessing in disguise, too. Another scenario I just heard. This karmic over here might pass away. In Divine Feminine and or Divine Masculine, your karmic, I mean, your twin was married to this karmic. And when this karmic passed away, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine, your twin is going to share the money with, with you. So it's like something is like a blessing in disguise or the, or you guys are going to be compensated for all this spell work and dark magic this karmic did to y'all. So I see that too. I just saw that and I heard it. That's another scenario. So y'all twin was married to this karmic and this karmic is either passing away after dark hours tonight or in the near future. And your twin is going to reap the benefits because they was married to this karmic. And then your twin is going to bring the good fortune to you. And y'all going to split it and share the money. Yeah, or something like that. So for some of y'all, I'm hearing that your twin at some point in the connection with this karmic, your twin had to pretend as if they didn't love you so they can actually like get put on the karmic's benef uh, life insurance policy as the beneficiary or something. It's like your twin, something like that, something, I'm hearing that too. So for some of y'all, your twin was pretending. It was like a plan that worked out perfectly. But it was like the plan was, but it's like Divine Feminine, y'all didn't know. Your twin was kind of like planning this. Um, for some of y'all, your twin was pretending that they did not like you so that the karmic will put your twin as a beneficiary. And for other you guys at the time, when this karmic put your twin on their life insurance at a, as the beneficiary, your twin really hated you at that time. And it just worked out in y'all favor. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that going on too. <clears throat> so I'm hearing Divine Feminine be patient because you want to do something alone and something's going to work out in your favor. You want to like be a self-starter. You want to do something alone, but it's like your twin is on their way to you and they're going to be able to help you. Yeah. So spirit is something that you're trying to do alone. Divine Feminine spirit don't want you to do something alone this time around because your twin is like on their way back to you and you're going to get help like something like that or something yeah because this spiritual union divine feminine your twin is a good omen to you and it predicts fortune and it could this could be finances so i'm gonna give an example because the most high could be very detailed. The most high could be very calculating. Like down to the minute. The king of swords. It's like divine feminine. Say like you was you was you got like you was planning on putting a down payment on a building. Because you a business owner. And it's like divine feminine, you was about to invest all you had. And the most high is aware that. Your twin is on their way to you. But it's like Divine Feminine. The Most High is aware that from the day that you was going to put down your down payment, invest all you got into this business. It's like Divine Feminine. You was going to struggle for like maybe a whole entire year before your, your twin get back to you. It's like Divine Feminine Spirit don't even want you to struggle that year. Like within that year, he don't want you to struggle. Like in that year before your divine masculine or your divine feminine come back to you. He don't want you struggling. So something you're trying to start, you're having a hard time starting it. Because spirit don't want you to struggle at all. Yeah, like something like that. It's like divine feminine, 
you got the money to invest. You want to build it for your business. But it's like spirit don't want you doing it. Because after you put all your money into the business, you're going to be struggling until your twin come. And spirit don't want you struggling. Yeah. Like something like that going on. So I'm going to end it. So. Or it's like Divine Feminine. I also just heard too. Another scenario is. It's like Divine Feminine. This karmic was trying to do physical harm to your Divine Masculine. Or your twin. And the karmic was planning on after your twin passed away. Was coming back in your energy. Because this karmic like likes you. After they, you know, did something to your twin. This karmic wanted to um be with you. Yeah. And spirit was like, no. Because you're not the, you not a divine feminine or divine masculine. No. I said twin flame mission. Karmic. Yeah. So I heard that too. For some of y'all, this karmic didn't even like your twin. They liked the you. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Luckling Tarot. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And um, um, I'm being urged to say, Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I don't know why, but I'm being urged to say that. Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. So... Again, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And have a nice night and thanks.